American eats about 71 pounds of red meat per year, according to the USDA. But where does that meat come from? How many of you like to eat bacon or pork chops? Those are both kinds of red meat, and today I'm going to discuss the different kinds of breeds of swine by teaching you the origin, the characteristics and how to tell them apart, and what they're known for. I've been showing hogs since I was seven years old, and I've traveled the country attending hog shows. And um, I'll be going over the eight main breeds that you can see in a show ring. So if you're at the state fair, you can point these breeds out to your friends. And also, I'll talk about which ones produce the best meat. Okay, so the first breed is called a Berkshire. Um, it originated in Berkshire, England, and that's where it's got, it got its name from. They will have black bodies and then they have six white points. So their snout, their four feet, and their tail should be white. Um, sometimes it varies, like they won't all look exactly like this, but that's the goal. And then they have erect ears, so you can see their ears are standing straight up on their head. All breeds ending in Shire will have erect ears like this one, and they're known for their excellent carcass quality. So they're one of the breeds that produces the best pork chops. Okay. Next is the Chester White. They originated in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Um, I'll talk about three white breeds today. This is one of them, and they have down ears. So you can see that the ears are folded down on their head instead of sticking straight up. And they're known for their mothering ability. So they'll produce lots of pigs and raise them really well. The Duroc is next. Um, they originated in New Jersey. They're a red-brown color with down ears. So they'll all pretty much be this color. Um, they're known for being fast growing and also for their carcass quality. And then according to the Asian Australasian Journal of Animal Science, Durocs have the highest marbling score. So that marbling is the amount of fat in the meat, which makes it taste better. So Durocs have the best tasting pork chops out of the breeds. Okay, the Hampshire is next. Um, they also originated where their name came from, Hampshire, England. Um, they have black, white, black bodies with white, a white belt around their front shoulders and their front legs. They also have erect ears. Um, they're one of the oldest breeds known to the United States, and they're a great combination breed. So they're good mothers and they raise lots of pigs, but they also produce good meat. The Landrace is the second white breed. They're very similar to the Chester White, but they originated in Denmark, and um, their ears are lots bigger and they are folded over more. So that's how you can tell them apart from the Chester White. And they're also known for being very long body. So that's another way to tell them apart from the Chester White. And um, the white breeds are usually known for being good mothers. So um, the land race is prolific, which means that they'll produce lots of litters and lots of piglets. And they're also very good milkers. So they'll raise good babies. The Poland China originated in the United States. Um, they're very similar to the Berkshire because they're black with the same six white points, but their ears are down. Um, they are known for the maximum weight at any given age. So they're very good at converting feed into them into meat and making them gain weight. And then they're also known for being sound on their feet and legs. So they're good structured and they can move easily. The Spot is a variation of the pole in China that's created its own breed. Um, they originated in the United States. They have black and white spots, but they don't have to look like that one. They can be in a, any kind of pattern, really. And they also have down ears. Um, they're also known for feed efficiency and meat quality, like the pole in China. And then the last breed is the Yorkshire. This is the only white breed with up ears. Um, and they are known for being extremely good mothers and having lots of lots of litters that are very large. Um, in the chapter Swine Breeds and Breeding, they recorded that Yorks will have the most litters, so they're one of the most popular breeds in the United States. Okay, so I went over eight different breeds, origins, characteristics to tell them apart, and what they're known for. So now you can look for labels on meat like Berkshire or Duroc and you'll know that you'll be getting some of the best meat quality. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to determine the different breeds by some of the characteristics that I've shown you.
And pork is the most widely eaten meat in the world, according to Purdue University. So now you know where your pork is coming from. Thank you.